everyone. Thank you for joining me today on the Moneybag73 channel. I would like you, hopefully you're watching this on YouTube, so you can click below in the more info section. I'd like you to, if you would, click on that now and then click on the link I have down there. It's going to take you to an article that's on a Ia, Iacono or Iacono, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, uh, research.com. And it's entitled, Inflation Before and After the Federal Reserve. Now, the reason I wanted you to go here was to look at this chart. I mean, this totally lays out what's been going on over the past couple hundred years. And I'm not so interested in the article. I mean, he talks about Bernanke recently bringing up uh, being on a gold standard, how that caused inflation and deflation. Yeah, well... You can see on the red on the red line there. It also caused prices to kind of normalize and stay, or actually go down a little bit, or stay around the same for a hundred years, uh, because we did have deflation and then inflation. But since like the depression ended, we've pretty much just inflated the currency nonstop. There's one little tiny blip in 08 of deflation but that's been made up um you know so we're just the line tells the whole story you see in 1971 where inflation just took off the the prices took off i'm good i'm talking about this in terms of inflation being a general rise in the price of goods and services over time which is not what inflation is but that's what the federal reserve tells us it is so using this information which comes from the Federal Reserve and their numbers, you know, I'd like to see this chart done by John Williams because they've changed the way they figure the CPI, the price index, since the, you know, how they figured it in the 80s. I'd like to see them use the same way of figuring it now. I mean, those, you know, this chart would look different the past 20, 30 years. All those little lines would be a lot higher. However, even using the Fed's data, we still see what's going on here since we lost a link to hard money. Since we've gone pure paper in 1971, Nixon took, took us off the gold standard, you know, prices have just been screaming upward. So for Bernanke to say that, you know, the gold standard wasn't any good because it caused inflation and deflation, yeah, well, look what it did for prices. The prices were pretty much stable and that brings me to why the federal reserve was instituted in the first place it was to give the nation a stable monetary and financial system that's the job well they've t totally done the opposite that's not what they're doing they're not giving us you know that's why women had to take to the workforce in 1970s because one income just couldn't make it and incomes have not kept up with inflation. That's why you needed two incomes. And now, even with two incomes, people are having trouble. They're having to go further and further into debt. You know, I, I was going to do a, a video talking about my big 14% rise in pay over the last 10 years. While this, that, and the other thing are up 100, 200%. You know, rice and, and, uh, and meat and pork and you know, all this different stuff is up hundreds of percentages. Heating oil stuff like that. I have the figures. I'm still going to do that um, pretty soon. Talking about, you know, if if your financial advisor hasn't had you in precious metals, he's doing you a, a huge injustice. And, you know, I, I there's a guy who was a financial planner for like 20 years and he's talking out against him, saying why they don't understand real money. Um, but anyway, I'm still going to do that video. But this here just really lays it out of what's going on it's an incredible graph put together by this research company and I also wanted to mention that don't forget you know the Federal Reserve is the third central bank in the United States we had our first one from 1791 to 1811 it was signed by George Washington the Charter um, under the recommendation of Alexander Hamilton. And we had that central bank 
It ended in 1811, and the primary reason of being attacked by England and, and having the War of 1812, which never saw in any history book, was because the charter was not re-signed in 1812. And that's the main reason for the war. I mean, I've never seen a reason for the war. Well, I believe that's the main reason for the war. The charter wasn't re-signed. But it didn't take long for them to get another central bank, a bank of issue, back into the U.S. so it could print the money. Um, it only took five years. 1816, we had our second was signed by Madison, who said that, you know, he was hoping that we could get rid of the inflation, you know, by having a central bank. Um, so then another 20-year charter was signed. And then at the end of that, Andrew Jackson beat the bank, and, and there was no more central bank until the Federal Reserve in 1913. But I guess I'll leave you with this. I mean, Thomas Jefferson was totally opposed when he was Secretary of State of the first central bank coming in here. He said that a private central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army or something to that effect. I don't know if that's the exact quote, but you know, he knew that the central bank was a horrible thing and well, here we go. So you know, you can see the inflation that, that we've had. There's almost been no deflation. That's why prices have just continued to rise nonstop the last my entire lifetime. And I don't see that changing, you know, and, until the dollar collapses. Just prices are gonna keep on going up. And they're doing a good job of holding silver down right now. You know, I guess I'll mention something on that too. February 29th, silver was slammed down. I took, there was almost 500 million ounces sold in one day. I mean, there's only 800 million being pulled out of the ground in a year. So, you know, it's just pure paper. You, all, most of the people watching this know that. Maybe someone will stumble upon this. Probably by now they've dropped off after me talking about central banks and, and, uh, you know, the first and second central bank of the U.S. Whatever, that, that, that's fine. But, you know, you guys know what's happening. I mean, it's getting totally obvious, obvious the knocking down of the silver price. Just hold strong. Um, we're going to see much higher silver and gold prices. Don't get discouraged by these little knockdowns um, in silver and gold. It really don't mean much in the longer term scheme of, of what's going on. 